Canada's diplomats like helping Hamas. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Do you remember back in March we told you that the Trudeau Liberals were considering funding the UN Relief and Works Agency? This is the United Nations body tasked with helping Palestinian refugees that, while maybe well-intentioned when it was started, has become a very political organization that has even at times become too close to Hamas, the terrorist group that controls the Gaza Strip. In fact, it's well documented that during the Hamas rocket attacks on Israel a few years ago, schools and hospitals run by this UN agency were used to store, hide, even launch Hamas rockets onto Israeli civilians. The Canadian government cut funding to UNRWA back in 2010 over concerns about the organization's impartiality, their use of anti-Semitic textbooks in UNRWA-run schools and more. But when UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon visited Ottawa in March, it was reported by the UN's top office that Canada was going to start funding UNRWA again. Now that decision is yet to be taken. It turns out the claim by Ban Ki-moon's office was premature, but that doesn't mean it's not being considered. In fact, according to documents we've received through access to information, the Trudeau government did say it's considering funding this hate-filled group. The documents also show Canadian diplomats being giddy at the news, at the premature news. After the meeting between Ban Ki-moon and Prime Minister Trudeau in Ottawa, the UN released a readout of the meeting. And that readout claimed that Canada was going to resume funding. That had diplomats throughout Canada's civil service cheering. Someone named Ali Khan Rajani, a counselor at the Cairo office, sent out an email to David Fournier in the Ramallah office with an, an, an associated press story on the matter exclaiming, Mabruk. Mabruk is an Arabic word meaning blessed. They are calling the restoration of funding to a group with strong links to terror a blessing. Now, Fournier breaks the news to Rajani that he has to hold the Mabruk, that the story is false. Karim Marakos at the Ukraine diplomatic office of the Canadian government sends out the story to several colleagues with one line, congrats. I love the four exclamation points he added on to it. Again, Fournier breaks the, the news that their excitement is for naught. Same as when Denise Conway, an education specialist at head headquarters in Ottawa, sends out the story and congratulations. And meanwhile, the, Ismeric the Americans and the Israelis are actually wondering if any of this is true. And from what I can read between the lines, the Israelis, they're not happy. When funding to UNRWA was cut under Stephen Harper, it's not as if humanitarian aid to Palestinians disappeared. The money just went to other groups, groups that were less problematic, less supportive of terrorist-related bodies. These documents show, though, that Justin Trudeau and Ban Ki-moon actually discussed this at the highest levels. That despite real concerns about the wisdom of such a move, Trudeau was and likely is still considering it. Well, we as Canadians have to say no. There are ways to help people in need without backing groups that run schools filled with hate against Jews. There are ways to help people suffering without also supporting a group that turns a blind eye as their schools and hospitals are used to launch attacks on innocent Israeli civilians. If you're with me, if you agree with common sense that this is not what Canada should be doing, then I want you to sign our petition at stophelpinghamas.ca. That's stop helpinghamas.ca. And then once you've signed the petition, add your voice. Well, then share this petition on Facebook, on Twitter, by email. You've got to help spread the word. We need to make sure that every Canadian knows what the government is considering doing in their name so they can stand up and let their voice be heard loudly saying no. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.